Hey guys, in our last video, we talked about the importance of a well-polished LinkedIn profile and how important that is for recruiters and hiring managers to know who you are and what you're about before they sign you up for an interview. Today, we're gonna to talk about the importance of a resume and how you can quickly generate a resume from your LinkedIn profile once you've already got that set up. So if you haven't watched the first video about setting up the LinkedIn profile, go ahead and go watch that one because it'll lead right into this one where we're gonna talk about generating a resume from your LinkedIn profile. So let's go ahead and hop right in. Now, once you get logged into LinkedIn, you're going to come to what's typically going to be the homepage. And then you're going to have to, so your homepage is going to look like this. And then all you need to do is click on your profile image. And like we talked about in the first video about setting up your LinkedIn profile, you want to make sure everything looks perfect exactly the way you want it to. I would highly recommend to not do what I did and don't use a family picture here, but maybe use a, a very professional picture of yourself. Uh, the reason I have a family picture is because I'm not at the moment looking for a job. So I don't really have a need for this to be perfect and I would rather represent who I am. Now, coming through this, uh, as we mentioned in the last video, make sure you're updating this background cover photo, make sure you have a great profile picture, make sure all of your titling, your about section, and most importantly for this particular item, your experience is on point. You wanna make sure that unlike me, you have every single job filled out with a good description with bullet points about every single thing that you've done at those jobs, especially if any of that applies to Salesforce. And you want to make sure to update the wording, even if you've had a previous job where you were in a management role or a tech role, and update the wording in these jobs and the description so that they carry over into your Salesforce resume. Again, we want to make sure that this profile on LinkedIn screams Salesforce. No one cares what you used to do uh, unless it applies to Salesforce. You don't want a profile that looks like you could be applying for a number of jobs. You want a profile that looks like you are a Salesforce professional applying for a Salesforce job. Now, once this is up to par, and again, if you haven't watched the last LinkedIn video, make sure you check that out. Once this is perfect and everything looks great, all you need to do is click the more button right here on your profile and click save to PDF. You can save this however you want. I'll save it as resume and then click save. And then here in the bottom, I can just open this right up and immediately I have a resume. Now, you may not think this is perfect. It may not be exactly what you want, but I can tell you this is a professional looking resume. It's going to have everything from your LinkedIn profile. So if you don't like uh, your email address here, update it in LinkedIn. If you don't like your skills or your languages, uh, your certification showing, you don't like the way the summary shows or your experience, then update it in LinkedIn. That's all you have to do. And then once you have your LinkedIn perfect, it will spit out the perfect resume into this format. And now this is perfect for you to share with recruiters and hiring managers when they request it. And there's no need to go in and build uh, from a template and have to rewrite everything. Once you've got that great professional LinkedIn profile, your resume is already done for you.